the head of Australia's overseas intelligence agency has been criticised after being photographed, posing with a clenched fist beside the controversial Philippines president, Rodrigo Duterte. Philippine police kill 32 in bloodiest night of Duterte's war on drugs read more Nick Warner, the Director General of the Australian Secret Intelligence Service, held talks with the leader at Malakinang Palace in Manila on Tuesday. The President's office released video of the meeting, with separate photos showing the pair talking and making Duterte's signature hand gesture. Duterte has presided over a campaign against drugs in which police have killed thousands of suspected drug users and dealers who are mostly urban poor Filipinos. The recent killing of a 17-year-old student in the Philippines has sparked nationwide protest and several government investigations. In response, Duterte stood by his drug war but warned officers their duty was to arrest suspects and kill only if their lives were in danger. You are not allowed to kill a person that is kneeling down begging for his life. That is murder, Duterte said in a speech. Pia Gutierrez, at Pia underscore Gutierrez, President. Duterte meets with Australian Secret Intelligence Service Director General Nick Warner in Malakinang. Pick Twitter. Com, 3 u one Fu a Bogus 22, 2017 The Labour MP Anthony Byrne, who is Deputy Chair of the Joint Committee on Intelligence and Security tweeted that it was a completely inappropriate photo for the head of one of our most important intelligence services to be in. Elaine Pearson, the director of Human Rights Watch in Australia, said it was sickening to see head of Australia's spy agency fist pumping a man who has instigated the killing of thousands. A spokeswoman for Julie Bishop, the Australian Foreign Affairs Minister, said on Wednesday the Director-General met leaders and ministers of regional countries regularly to advance cooperation in information sharing to counter-terrorism. According to a palace official, it was basically a courtesy call that touched on regional security issues and declaration of mutual support. Facebook Twitter Pinterest who is Punisher Rodrigo Duterte it comes just a week after the federal government moved to formally list Islamic State in East Asia as a terrorist organization, with the group responsible for numerous terrorist attacks in the Philippines.